everyone, this is Our Water. Welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. In the last episode, I was a complete idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, I got really confused about the uh, mini. I'm actually really surprised I could transform here. I got really confused because I thought I did everything in the mini games. Lo and behold, I think I did. I mean, I just got rupees, but I guess it doesn't check off as complete. I don't know, it's a little bit weird. Um, we also checked out Snow Peak, which I still don't know why I really didn't say anything during that. I'm actually really perplexed. Um, however, we need to go find a red fish because there's this weird big guy, big giant monster guy over there. So what we need to do is find a red fish and Prince Rallis. Did I never get this? Huh. Never got this. Um, the only one who knows how to catch the red fish was Prince Rallis. He gave us hook, which is actually attached to our fishing rod now. <laughs> it even says fishing rod plus earring. That's great. All right. So um, apparently, I never got this trick just over here, and I feel like I should have, but I don't remember. I think it was rupees. It's just rupees. Okay. Also, was it just me or was Link's hand twitching over there? But yeah, we couldn't just teleport into the core part of Zora's domain because, lo and behold, there's no shadow teleport over there, so I had to go from Zora's domain. Oh, this actually looks really nice, being able to see the castle encased in that twilight diamond right past of uh, Zora's river, all while Link is screaming like a little boy. Alright, oh my god. Hi, Zora people. How you doing? Um, what do you have to say? A suspicious girl has been seen around this area lately. I wonder what brings her. Oh, right, they're pro probably talking about Ashe. And look! Here are the reek fish, these little red fishy fish fish. If you recall what Prince Rala said, you would be able to find them near mother and ch child rocks. I. For some reason, my mind almost defaulted to mother and rocks isles, or. I don't know what I was about to say. Um, if for those of you who have had. For those of you who actually saw my Wind Waker Let's Play, there is actually an island called Mother and Child Isles. And it's a wonderful island, and that's where we saw the Great Fairy. Or the Great Fairy Queen! Come here, buddy! I will never understand how Link is able to fish up all these sorts of fish with just one hand. Also, it looks like a salmon. It, it honestly does look like a salmon with concerningly uh, changing colored spots, because I'm pretty sure that's switching between yellow and blue. Alright, so when you catch the reek fish, it actually drops down the floor right here, so you don't need to use your slingshot, or <laughs> slingshot, hook shot, claw shot, whatever. Turn into a wolf and smell it. Forget the post scent and learn a new smell? Of course. Now we learned a reek fish scent. I wonder what a reek fish smell like. Because you would think by the name it smells very bad. Also, if you take too long, it actually just kind of flops back inside of the little water over here. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Anyways, moving on. Um, I actually wonder what reek fish would smell like. You would think by the name itself, it would smell really, really bad. But I don't actually know a lot of... Uh, Fishes that would have an off-putting smell because when you when you have, whenever you want to get fish It's never supposed to have that fishy smell that most people would be accustomed to seeing fish So I'm actually really curious on what it would smell like Anyways back at snow peak over here um We need to find out where the heck we go and if you do not do this You will actually get lost and get yourself hurt no, I think you just get lost. You don't get hurt. Well, you might get hurt. So if you turn on our senses, um, one, you can see a freaking Poe up there, which I need to get. But it actually shows you a trail that you're supposed to follow. So honestly, for the majority, this majority part of Snow Peak right now is us going to be turning on our senses. Because if we don't do this, uh, we will be put back to the start. Oh god, are those white wolfles? Oh god, they might be. Um... It will force us back to the start because there's a blizzard going on. And apparently by video game LOGIC! 
unless we are following a pathway, a very specific pathway, it will force us back to where we don't want it to be. I don't really know what I said in the end of that, but I don't freaking care. Gimme. Did... Did somebody just try to freeze me? Oh! Oh, shoot! <laughs> Can we not? Can we not? Oh, God! Why do you things hurt me so? Can, can we not just do this? Okay, let's just... I think... I, so, I never actually explored Snow Peak. I'm gonna be frank about this. I only went in and went out for whatever I need to do. I never actually went out and explored. I think you should be able to explore as soon as, um... God, I'm going the wrong way. You should have the ability to explore once you actually get to the end of this, because I believe the blizzard stops. Maybe. Look! At all these ice keys. Look at them! Jeez, this is gonna this is not gonna be fun. Alright, so going up here, I saw another Poe up there. And I want it, and I mean that was completely unintentional, but that works too. Uh where's the Poe? Where's the Poe? Where's the Poe? I just lost the Poe, crap. Wait. Oh, it's because it's daytime. Oh, and look at that! We have a little howling rock over here. So, wait, what does Snow Peak even look like? I never actually took the time to... Eh. Ch Whoa! I mean... On the bright side, I didn't get hurt. On the downside, I'm not really sure where I am. Uh, oh, I'm just down here. Okay. Just getting back up there, please don't fall, Link. Please, I'm- I, wait, I thought the blizzard was supposed to stop at a certain point. Is it only just that bottom portion that's covered in blizzard and we might get lost? Because I think right here is pretty straightforward. I don't know, what's this howling rock? Um... Oh crap, whoa, 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 what in the world happened there? Wait, that- that actually counted? Excuse me? Um, okay. I mean, that works. Also, I- so, I never actually mentioned this because I was always like super hype about the little howling songs, but this- Little scene after we go to each of the Howling Stones is so wonderful because we can see all of the different areas and they look freaking gorgeous. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. <laughs> All right, so, um, oh, that's in the graveyard. Okay, anyways, um, ooh, Link, calm yourself. So that one, I. I, I'm really annoyed that we can't actually 100% confirm this. Uh, some people m uh, say it's just a uh, original soundtrack, just like the one I thought was Goron's Lullaby. Some people are also saying that it's actually the song uh, Bowed of the Gales from Wind Waker. Not the actual, like, conduct- like, when you conduct it, but the song that follows afterwards when you try to teleport away with that, uh, tornado. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, whoa, these are ice. Please don't touch the ice, by the way. You will freeze and it will hurt. Also, we... <laughs> dogs can't climb ladders. Un unless we find some weird fantasy world where dogs can actually climb ladders, now is not the time. 
All right, I'm going up here. So, whoa. <laughs> can we not? Nope. Dude. Uh, okay, fine. You're dying. Come here. Come here. Both of you. Jesus. Okay. I don't. So, fire. Fire is bad. Yes. Fire is always bad. But why is it that ice is always worse than fire? At least to me. I guess it's just because even though you're burning alive, you can still move around. But when you when you're dealing with ice, you have the possibility of being frozen and you can't do anything and I can't see anything. <laughs> oh god, everything's all snowy. Oh god, that's a lot of keys. Do we have to do this? Get out of my face. All of you out now. Hit Oh, come on, game! This is not what I need! Like, no joke! This is not what I- Oh, snap. I- I'm, I'm sorry for raising my voice like that. Um, <laughs> um, you're- you're not gonna hurt me, right? Oh, not- no, that's not what- no! Give me the keys! Give me the freaking keys! Thank you! Alright, come here, everyone. Single file. Okay, you know what? Fine, I'm killing you. You two get together. Ow. There we go. Man, trying to deal with Shadow Beast and dealing with Ice Keys is probably the worst thing. Hopefully it will never happen again. Hello. Who are you? Is that a... Is that a giant reek fish? Oh my god, that thing is massive! Ugh! Woohoo! I heard ruckus and uh, just a human. I see humans not often, huh? Why human come to snows? You, on spiritual journey? You look for true self? Uh, not really. Uh, you look for mirror in such far away place. But you make good climb, and you're lucky to meet me. Also, sir, I'm really concerned that that giant reek fish is glitching into the ground like that. I found shiny mirror piece. Same mirror you look for, huh? Uh, you come to house and see yourself. I caught fish. I make you hot meal, at least. My house far away. We slide there, huh? Do like me. Come. Sorry, I, I keep on staring at the giant fish. And my first thought is, I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> Sorry, I've, I've been really... So I'm actually, I'm a pretty picky eater, but just recently I've been um, very fond of the taste of raw fish. So every time I see fish now, I'm like, can, can I eat this raw as it is and not having to cook it? Because I think some fish, it, it does not taste good when it's raw. Uh, is there anything else I want to do here? I think there is, but I think I'll do it after we finish up what we need to do at Snow Peak. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, you roll into the tree and it drops this... I was about to say icicle, but icicles are usually like cone shape. This kind of ice leaf. You jump on it. Well, oh, you get on it. Excuse me. And now you're sliding and oh... God, I don't remember how to do this. Um. Huh. Okay, so you can speed up or slow down by pushing forward or m pushing backwards on the left stick. Turn left or right. Um, if you crouch, you can gain speed. Uh. You can also jump! I did not mean to jump! Oh, crap. Ugh. Ugh. So, I'm not very fond of slipping and sliding, mind you. Um. I don't think I've ever done it in real life, and I don't think I'll ever do it in real- Oh, snap! Rightly, rightly so, I just got my first game over in this episode. Wonderful! <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're uh, slipping and sliding all the way down to his house. This is gonna be fun! No, not really. Okay, so... Crouchy makes it a little bit easier to control the slippery slide ice. I really hope these keys don't end up killing me. Okay. Got past that bridge. And I really wish there was a way for me to not jump. Oh, I missed a blue rupee. Oh, 
Please don't hit the trees, because I think you can actually break the ice and then have to walk all the way back. Or just slide on your butt. Because both are good. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, that's a lot of ice keys. That's a lot of ice keys. Can we not? Um, I wish there was a way to get out of crouch mode without forcing the jump. Because if I let go of the A button, it's going to make me jump whether I like it or not. Um, oh, I really hope there's no collectibles where I need to reach a certain point with the slippery slide. Uh, uh oh. Oh, I remember this being hectic. Wait! Uh, okay, sorry. I got incredibly distracted by the really pretty, pretty little house off in the distance. <laughs> ah, that was that was almost bad for me. Um, I know this part. I think you have to slip inside. No, I think you should be able to walk back up here pretty easily. Yeah, you should be able to walk back here. And there we go. It breaks. There is the big house. Here? What's with this guy? He's got a nice place for a beast monster. Well, yeah, I mean, personally, I think I prefer calling him a Wendigo or... Gob, there was another term. There was another way to say Wendigo without saying Wendigo. Oh, this is the reason why you didn't want to break off the slippery side because you can't move in ice. Uh, I probably should have just gone up there because I think there's something on top of there. Well, aside from a Poe, I didn't actually expect the Poe. I was expecting something else. I did not expect the Poe. Um, wait a minute. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. And or I could just have Wolf Link get stuck. Apparently, <laughs> apparently because um surface area I guess is a thing. Wolf Link will have a much easier time walking on snow than regular Link. So going up here, apparently there's a Po. I'm gonna beat it up. I I did not want to talk to you, Minna. Come here, buddy. Hello, hello. So no lie, I actually didn't expect this Poe to be here. I in fact expected a piece of heart. I remember you should be able to get a piece of heart relatively close to the house. I am just not really sure where. Oh crap, I actually want that rupee. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh, wait, there's a red rupee. Is this just rupee haven, excuse me? Apparently it might be. This is good because I actually need to get some rupees. I wish I had a bigger wallet, though. Like, honestly. <laughs> okay, um... I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah... So wait, if the piece of part isn't here... Where exactly is it? Because I remember it being on the snowy little mountain. <laughs> oh, shoot! Well, it doesn't matter. It does not matter to me. I. It's not over there, is it? It it shouldn't be over there. <laughs> I don't think there's a really good way for me to get over there, and I'm not gonna lie, I actually don't remember much about this house aside from the inside. I don't actually recognize it on the outside. That's hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, lovely, and I thought I'd never see these ever again. I actually don't remember if these type of puzzles appeared in, uh, Wind Waker. Welcome to Snow Peak Ruins! Or, welcome to Snow Peak House. Because apparently this guy lives here, and... Hello? How are you doing? Um... I don't remember you being here, but... You know what? It doesn't matter. So, this is an ice dungeon. And the one thing that everyone... Ah, frick. Get over here. The one thing that everyone, everyone in any game likes about ice dungeons is the ice puzzles. Or apparently your phone going off. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Anyways, uh, what was I doing again? Oh right, I just killed off that Poe and oh god, everything's slippery sliding. Yeah, we have... Um, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, excuse me. One, why is there a hammer behind me? No. Wait, hold on. Is that a picture of Rutel? Frick you. Um, so I actually figured out during the editing that apparently these purple shoes are random effects. Every single time I've drank these, they always hurt me. I'll give it a try in a second, but this is a 
portrait of Rutella. Why the crap is there a portrait of Rutella in Snow Peak? Like, what the heck? I mean, granted, it is very gorgeous, it's also very dark. Oh! This is... This is the Sacred Grove. This is the entrance to the Sacred Grove where we got the Master Sword, and I think this is w the, uh, Mirror Chamber. Or... No, that's the entrance to Arbiter's Ground, and right behind it is Mirror's Chamber. Like, oh! I want these pictures! I don't remember this being here. Oh, wait, look, up there! That's another picture of Rutella. I don't know why you have two of them in... Crap, I cannot for the life of me. Who are you? You jerk! Get over here. Okay, so I have no idea who that is. I'm assuming that's the King of Hyrule. That's my only assumption, just because I do not recognize this person. Uh, so... <laughs> I... I don't actually remember too much about this dungeon. I mean, I remember how to do it, more or less, but I don't remember seeing, like, being able to pay attention to the layout because everything was a little grainy. This is really cool! <laughs> um, well, let's see. Am I gonna have a good luck? No. Ooh! I mean, I have great fairy tears, but I really don't want to use them. Well, please tell me doesn't there two here. Is there a red one? Please and thank you. Um, shoot. <laughs> I did not expect this. I really did not expect this. I don't recognize this place anymore. Like, I was, I guess I maybe I was only staring at the ground and not really focusing on the bigger picture of this house, but it looks so nice. And you would never really think this is a dungeon. Oh, it looks so nice. I'm gonna be spazzing about this at all, or all the time. Um, that's Hyrule Castle from one of the two bridges going towards it. That's, oh. Hi! Who? Uh. Sorry. I have sickness, huh? Come closer, huh? Um, sure, but can can you let me look at the pictures before I die? Uh... I don't... Wait, is this broken or, or warped? I feel like I should know that place. Um... It looks like it's broken. It looks like it's torn up. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Over here, over here, over here. I will talk to you in the late- in a second, lady. Oh, they are broken up. Uh, this is Arbiter's Grounds again. This is another picture of Hyrule. Why do you have copies of pictures? You cute little human. Husband told me you come. You want to look at a mirror, huh? My husband found it. But it's pretty thing, huh? But- since I get mirror, I get sick, and then bad monsters appear. So many bad things happen since mirror. So we lock bedroom on third floor where it hangs, huh? Wait, I'll tell you where key is. Oh, okay. Well, she gives us the dungeon map. No need to find it in the chest. Fever makes head blurry, but... It probably in room marked by this symbol. I'm what? Wait, so. I might be remembering this wrong. Um, so in this game, it's a little red flag that's really freaking hard to see and impossible to see, and I did not mean to put away the map. But right now, can't even get up. Would you bring it to me, huh? Start with door right here. As I was saying. <laughs> Um, aside from me having a quarter heart, I think- I don't remember what the symbol was. Uh, in the original game, it might have been a treasure chest, it might have been circle, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go do that in the next episode. But I'm most likely gonna immediately die in the next episode. <laughs> Whoopsies! Uh, <laughs> anyways, that's gonna be it. We've arrived at Snow Peak Ruins, and now this is the start of the second dungeon, which- I guess just because it looks so homey and wooden and kind of 
anti- I wouldn't say anti. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a dungeon. It's just because it's- it just looks like someone's house. Like, honestly, we're not sneaking in, we're just trying to find something, and they're showing us the way, apparently. Whatever. Anyways, I will meet you guys in the next episode, or I will meet you guys with a game over screen, whichever decides to happen first. This is Zor of Water, signing out. I'll see you guys then.